Hello everyone, I'm Sean from District 23 Homes and here we are at Hillview area and we are right now standing outside this Hill Vista project which is developed by FAIS organization and this is a freehold development which TOP in 2010 it consists of 127 exclusive units inside this medium-sized development and it has a huge concept of the Balinese resort style of living and what I like about this entire area that it is so exclusive for all the private properties, freehold, condominiums as well as the landed properties and clave. And Hill Visa is just 5 minutes walking distance towards Hill V2 where you have your grocery supermarket as well as an area of uh, dining options and if you are getting to the MRT station public transport it is just 7 to 8 minutes walk towards Hillview MRT station which is one of the downtown line and it gets you to the CBD area within 25 to 30 minutes and at the same time the very famous rail mall is just right at the corner and if you are going to drive uh, it's just less than 2 minutes away now we're going to check out this 3 bedroom plus study apartment inside Hill Vista and I'd like to show you the facing as well as the renovations that's done to this house Well, let's come with me Alright, here we are inside this 3 bedroom plus study apartment that sits on the floor area of 1216 square feet It consists of 3 bedrooms, 3 toilets plus a study room inside the master room as well as the dry and the wet kitchen that comes with a utility room and a helper's toilet Now I want to let you know what the owner have done since day one when they have moved into this apartment after they collect the keys from the developers and they have done a lot of progressive renovations First and foremost, on your front foyer space it is the recess area which the owner has done up the new shoe cabinets and he has also created storage space for the household items now coming over to the dining hall area Notice that it is spacious, you can put in even a 6-seater dining set And of course, they have actually wall mounted the display cabinets which is covered with the mirror And over onto the further end of the dining hall area there are additional drawer space for you to put in the display items Well, let's check out the living hall space And what I like about this living hall that it is so spacious and larger than expected one thing uh, that attribute to this factor is that you have a very good ceiling height of over 2.8 meters uh, which is higher than the usual norm for the condominiums and that allows for a lot of natural lighting and it always creates a constant breeze into the premises good thing to note that this is actually a southeast facing meaning to say that you do not have any wet sun issue and at the same time because of this facing you are looking into more of the greenery and a serene, quiet environment which is unlike the other 50% of the units which is facing towards the main road entering into the complex Well, let's check out what is outside in the balcony area Isn't it beautiful to just stand right outside at the balcony to enjoy the breeze and enjoy the serene and the greenery view and this creates a very calming effect you know, for the home users and what I like is that this whole entire project it really encompasses the uh, Balinese and the resort view and it's actually surrounded by palm trees and you have partial view of the swimming pool area and it has all the pavilions and the sun lounges right along the pool deck area and you just make it feel that you're not living in a condominium it's more like a hotel feel and that is what makes Hill Vista so special and good thing to just take note that uh, not all levels comes with the balcony so you have uh, alternate layers and floors that comes with the balcony and I like this uh, functionality of the balcony because you can use it uh, to put in a coffee table you know, enjoy a magazine reading or if not, you can even use this as an area to air dry your laundry well, let's check out the rest of the premises Come with me Coming over to the kitchen space I uh, just want to bring to you one of these main highlights uh, It is split into the dry and the wet kitchen area And over on this uh, dry kitchen countertop which is uh, decked with the granite top You have your built-in oven right below it As well as the microwave which is a uh, top-notch Ariston brand 
and over in this fridge compartment size it is big enough to accommodate a two-door big capacity fridge and that makes of course you have a lot of uh, prep area and also an additional uh, wash basin right over here and let's go in to check out the wet kitchen space so it's very useful where you have a glass sliding door just to separate the dry and the wet kitchen space so of course if you are doing heavy duty cooking you do not have to worry about the grease entering into the rest of the living hall space and at the same time you notice that this wet kitchen area it is actually flanked with uh, big encasement and sliding windows and that means that you can allow for a lot of ventilation in this area you don't even feel the heat that's built up in this space and of course you have your uh, cooker hob and your exhaust hood as well as a big kitchen sink for you to wash the dishes and right over in this space you have your utility room you can actually double it up to use it as a helper's uh, room and at the back that's right behind at the end you have your additional toilet and then what I like is that they have big encasement windows just to allow for the ventilation and it dries up this whole space very easily all right coming alongside this bedroom walkway you notice that the marble flooring continue all the way from the living hall and into this space to the bedroom entrance and on my right you have your additional storage space given by the developer and it contains the electrical board but I would say that it is also deep enough for you to put in your vacuum cleaner or even luggages and of course you have your guest bathroom for the guest usage well let's check out the first common bedroom right come with me stepping into the first common bedroom you notice that the good ceiling height gives a lot of uh, visual space and at the same time you notice that it is so huge that you can put in a large study desk as well as a single bed if you wish to convert this as a guest bedroom with a queen size bed it is not a problem at all what you notice that the owner has done for the bay window area he has decked with another wooden laminate just to give a soft touch to it and you can use this as a reading space or even as an area for you to put in your display items at the same time you notice that the almost full height windows allow for you to take a breathtaking view of the greenery that is on the outside besides having the wardrobe space you even have space for your bookshelves and this really makes it a very cozy bedroom well let's check out the other bedroom all right stepping into the second common bedroom you notice that uh, it is almost the same size though it's a little bit uh, smaller in width but i would say that it is still decent enough to put in a super single bed plus your full wardrobe as well as a study desk for your children and again the same thing for the bay window area this is also decked with this wooden laminate area just to give it a soft touch the owners have chose this stack facing is really because of its quiet environment and in no way that your opposite condo or the residents from across are able to look into your private spaces privacy is fully ensured in this stack itself and coming into the master bedroom this is one of the other main highlights it contains the study room and this is uh, fully serviced by the additional aircon uh, blowing into this area and it has a window that looks to the outside uh, what I like about this space is that it becomes a very functional uh, work from home option and it really makes as a good useful space and the owner has also done up additional storage spaces put in all the files and the stationery and also additional storage for the bags and apparels and coming over here to this uh, walkway they have these uh, original sliding door wardrobes which is given by the developer to be honest this is more than enough storage for the entire household now looking into the whole entire master bedroom space uh, it is so spacious you have your super king size bed with two big bedside tables uh, of course the owner has done up a full tv console plus the board that's right behind to hide all the conduits a way of enjoying you know entertainment or even late night movies with your loved ones and over at this uh, end of the wall you have your headboard which actually gives a form of a character to this room itself and sitting here it just makes you feel so relaxed the water that you hear from the fountain just right at the pool area it gives a very calming effect and just sitting here you know enjoying a cup of coffee or tea 
within your favorite book with uh, the views of the greeneries and the palm trees adds up to the whole entire relaxed ambience and this is what I really like about this project and of course you have your ensuite bathroom for the master room and you have your sunken bath uh, this prevents backsplash you know, of water into your dry area while you're showering and at the same time if you wish to take a little onsen in this sunken bath area it can be easily done so as well and what I like is that you have your almost uh, big vanity uh, counter area with your mirrors and even the storage spaces right below the wash basin Hill Vista is a 127 unit freehold development done by Far East organization and the whole entire design scheme surrounds this resort and a Balinese style hotel concept and they have a lot of uh, water features, pavilions, landscaping such as all the palm trees surrounding the whole entire development of course you have your two areas for the pool facilities jacuzzi and even a spa pavilion and of course in the clubhouse you do have your gym as well as uh, outdoor dining fully equipped kitchenette if you want to hire chef uh, to you know whip up a dish for you you can also do so at these dining pavilions your vista is located along elizabeth drive and when you walk around two minutes along Hillview Avenue you'll get to Hill V2 where you have your supermarket and there are also an array of eatery options as well as clinic you do have your Hillview Community Club just right at the junction of the roundabout and it is only seven minutes walk to Hillview MRT station exit B Another grocery supermarket option is located at the Rail Mall which is along the upper Bukit Timah Road. If you need to head off to Bukit Timah Expressway to go up to the north area, you can actually drive along the upper Bukit Timah Road and into Dairy Farm Road. It is just less than 2 minutes drive. So Hillview MRT Station is one of the downtown line and easily gets you to the CBD area within 11 to 12 stops and it takes about 20 minutes or 30 minutes so to get into the financial district area there are several primary schools around in the vicinity such as Bukit Panjang Primary School, Ta Tung Primary School, Bukit View Primary as well as Keming Primary School This 3 bedroom plus study apartment is so ideal for families and if you are a family that likes a quiet facing with a serene environment uh, towards the greenery and you like this kind of a Balinese resort style in Hill Vista and of course the freehold development which has a potential upside uh, in the capital appreciation then you should be here viewing this place with me I'm Sean from District 23 Homes and I look forward to seeing you in my next listing in this area See you then!